For an organisation like SRUC, the development of a vet school was an absolute next logical step. Uh, why Aberdeen? Uh, we already have two very, very uh, experienced schools in the Central Belt. Uh, one of the issues we have, really, is populating and getting vets attracted into the rural areas of Scotland. We really are keen to develop uh, remote and rural uh, general practitioners. So by putting it in Aberdeen, away from the Central Belt and with access to our campus in Inverness, uh, which really is a doorstep into the Highlands, uh, that was considered to be uh, a very sensible thing to do. And also an easier step for students that might be coming out of those remote areas rather than going to the big cities of the Central Belt. The Home Office uh, list has the veterinary profession on it, so we're short of vets across the UK. Part of that is lack of resilience of vets in clinical practice, many of our vets moving into other areas of the profession. So we need to be able to start plugging these gaps in remote and rural general practice, in the food sector, the government sector and in livestock production. This country leans on its assets which are, include natural tourism so therefore we need the sustainability of our local communities and the health professions are right at the heart of that. Uh, but also we focus very highly on the production of very high quality, high welfare food and drink in this country. And without vets to be able to monitor that and monitor public health, food security and our exports, we are in trouble. We have held a sort of stoic tradition across the vet schools in the UK in terms of recruiting students. We want to do that very differently. Not just focusing on academic grades per se, but also looking much more holistically at the individual, their aptitude and their alignment with the mission of the school. So widening participation is massive for us. Other area that's big for us is the ability to ease that transition from the, the vet school and its ivory towers into the realities of everyday general practice. And one of the ways in which we'll do that, which is very different for Scotland but is well tested in other parts of the world, uh, is to run what's known as the distributed model of veterinary education. So we'll actually train our students in authentic workplaces, the practices that they will eventually move into uh, as they establish their careers. And perhaps the final difference, if I'm just looking for the big things here, uh, is the fact that we will not train vets in isolation. You don't work in isolation once you're in practice, so why would we train you like that? So we will train our vets alongside our veterinary nurses, our veterinary technicians, our livestock agriculture, our equine uh, students, so that they have a much more holistic uh, appreciation, I suppose, of the way in which vets work in those teams. Uh, we've introduced new clinical skills, training facilities, dissection rooms, diagnostic laboratories, equine diagnostic areas, animal handling areas, and clinical skills again for the large animals. So our students will be taught in the main college building, the Ferguson building, so they will not be taught in isolation. We're going to run small cohorts, so we're only looking at uh, intakes of 50 to 60, very largely Scottish domicile students. Uh, so that is very important to us. So in, in the process just now of establishing the lecture theatres that will take those cohorts, uh, as well as the practical facilities. Veterinary medicine is a very practical topic, so we don't want to keep our students sitting in libraries or classrooms. We want them to take that theory directly uh, into the practice environment.